Well, again, cartoon collectors, cartoon car collectors, that is. So we have another one of these uh, Nissan Z, Fair Lady Z cars. Uh, this is made by VIP Scale Models, and I already know this is going to be something I have to modify, because for some reason the way this brand works, they don't give you a clear box. They give you a cardboard box. But, you know, I don't want to display my stuff just collecting dust. So I got this off AliExpress, and it looks like the dealer... You know, added this tape to keep it uh, from falling apart. I don't mind that. Ugh. You know what? I'm just gonna throw this away, so it doesn't matter, right? I'm just I might as well just cut this. All right. So it's got this fake leather base, which isn't really good for long-term longevity. You know, this fake leather stuff always cracks and it cracks off and stuff like that. But the main problem for me is, you know, again. I don't want to display it like that. So, and also the tires generally are horrible. So I'll probably have to replace those. Yeah, you see what's going on here. So the way they design these tires are like TLV, which is a, a really horrible way to design it. Uh, so you can just see a giant gap there. Uh, you know, it's not even it's not a circle. I don't even think the wheels are circular. So the Oval wheels and an oval tire leads to a really weird looking thing, you know? <sighs> yeah, so... Yeah, this side's not so bad, I'll, to be honest with you. That side doesn't bother me, but this is this is just horrendous. I mean, that's a... <laughs> I'm getting a toothpick inside of there, right? That, that's not the way it's supposed to be. And you can't, you can't mold them back, so I already know I'm going to destroy this. Uh, let's just get, continue on with the actual review though, so in case, you know, you want to buy this and you don't want to modify it. So what is nice is they have these little photo etch pieces in here, that's cool. Yeah, so there's a black wheel, but yeah, as I mentioned, the tires are the problem here. This is a really nice metallic paint, and this has a, I believe, a Liberty Walk body kit on it. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. It says Star Road. I don't know what kind of body kit that is, if it is a body kit. But the, it's really smooth. It looks nice. It might look orange to you. My phone makes it look orange, but it's definitely a dark red to the naked eye. So you got these little uh, rivet marks, you know, for their over fender. So that looks neat. Uh, the tires, if you like them, they do have treads. And they don't look like truck tires from the side, so that's good. There's no interior on this one. It's just black, you know, it's a solid chunk of resin. But it does have this photo etched piece for the window molding, which is nice. It's actually like a, it's got a groove in there. And then this one has the Z logo here on the, the rear buttress, or whatever you'd call this part of a car. And it's quite legible. Then you have the separate mirrors. They're black, and they have reflective stickers in them. So that's really cool. Let's go around to the front. Oh, well, before that, we have a resin uh, reflector there. Looks like it. Let me zoom in on that. It looks really neat. Yeah, I think that's like a piece of photo etched uh, metal. And then they filled in the cavity with some orange resin. It's really cool. I like it. You can see now the smooth paint. It's pretty nice for, you know, as, as resin models are, even in cartoon form. Uh, the headlight's really neat because it has uh, those striations. I think that's like a metal photo etched piece again. But then it has a clear resin dome that sticks out quite a, about, quite a lot. See, look how far away that that pick is from uh, you know that center light bulb looking thing. And they're purposely yellowed the the resin. It seems, yeah. So then we have you know a clear resin down here for well, I assume maybe the turn signals or something. And then we have a little black paint in there. And then this grill, it's a real grill, it's passing air, and you can see behind it, that intercooler looks really cool. <laughs> uh, that wasn't intentional, what I said there. Uh, okay, so the front end looks pretty good. Let's go around to this side, the better side. Yeah, this side's pretty good, it's not, not too bad. But it's also kind of weird that the wheel sticks out this far ahead of the, uh... Oh no, this is really bad here. See how much the wheel's exposed? Again, it's just the way they designed the, the wheels. It's, it doesn't make any sense. It's not logical. It's not like uh, most other brands. Okay, well that mirror looks good. This Z thing here looks good. That all looks nice. And then we have the fuel ferrule here. What is that? Why is there a silver dot there? 
It can't be for the fuel. I wonder if that's just like a... Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Just a little contaminant, but luckily it's not stuck there. The rear end? Yeah, that seems to be a body kit of some sort. That's not a standard bumper. Separate piece here for the rear grille, and then we have a little bit of black inside of that exhaust pipe, and it goes in a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a metal tube because it's so thin, but I'm not sure. And then the uh, lights here, I think these are photo etched metal, and then they have red resin poured into them. Very nice. Sadly, there's no license plate. I feel that would have been cool if they had something there. I can't tell if there's text there or not. It's such a short ledge. Let me get the flashlight. That's too bright. Uh, maybe it's just a reflection? I can't tell. It would be a weird place to put uh, text there because it's not really visible. Anyways, the wear wing looks alright. You can see this looks like a hand carved uh, casting. Now, the original carving may have been done by hand. For, but for a cartoony car, it seems to work. Okay. Now that we have a little antenna stub here, and then the rear window is painted nicely, and then we have a little chrome, a uh, little stainless steel uh, molding surround, and then the windshield, same thing, but now we have Star Road Specialist. Oh, I guess you could look that up. Maybe this is a body kit by Star Road. And then uh, the wiper blades have a nice etching in them. They're not bent perpendicular to the windscreen, but uh, it doesn't bother me. This wasn't a really expensive bottle, I think. <laughs> I think this is an old casting, and no one buys them, so they're kind of inexpensive on AliExpress, but maybe by the time you watch this video, they might be gone. Uh, one thing to keep in mind with all resins, they're really limited. You know, <laughs> I think it's funny that people talk about Hot Wheels being limited. I'm pretty sure there's at least 10,000, maybe 100,000 of every Super Treasure Hunt, because they make 60 plus million of those things every year. This is 300, right? Uh, so yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, you gotta buy them while you can, because eventually they will vanish, I think. Okay, well, it's nice that it actually tells you it's a star road, whatever the heck that is again. And this is number... what the hell? Num <laughs> I can't... I don't know what that is. Is that like a nine? It looks like a backwards question mark. Yeah, okay, well, doesn't really matter, because I'm gonna destroy it anyways, because I don't like those tires, so... First thing we gotta do is back off the camera, I guess. And throw away this box. Or I'll save it for in case we need to ship someone, someone something. So you'll see here, yeah, see, that's what fake leather is about. And it doesn't take much force. So all these fake leather things you buy, whether it's related to die cast or action figures, it's not, not good for long term longevity. Okay, so anyways, let me uh one screw which is nice not too difficult yeah I will save this I'm gonna put that on the next display yeah see look at that not cool so this goes into the trash I'll save the screw and the spacer in case I need it for something else or I'm gonna put it onto a different stand display base so I might reuse it let's get this uh, pleather off okay so there's really not much on the bottom of these things. Now you can see the, the treads and all that. Uh, I may as well show you how this wheel's constructed. See? It's totally blank on the back. Instead of a tire that slips onto a wheel, it's cupping the wheel. But it, it's not... It just doesn't work. It wasn't designed properly or something. The wheel doesn't lay flat in that recess. The hole seems too big for the wheel. These wheels, I might keep them for something else, like a, like a freebie. What am I thinking about? Those uh, Japanese coffee freebies. You know, those things are <laughs> probably like a, a dollar brand new, so these will probably be better wheels than what comes on those. This one doesn't look so bad, but I already cut the other one. Yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna cut this. Eh, you'll need to see this, do you? Because we're gonna replace these wheels. The other issue with these wheels is they're not very big. 
as far as height. See, look at the height of that. That's not very tall at all. I'm going to show you like a regular 164 scale wheel. Now this tire is so gappy and uh, so warped, right? It's just, uh, look at how the wheel's not sitting level in there. It just, yeah. When I get when I get to resin models, I expect them to be better, a lot better, because they're generally priced a lot more than regular die casts. So, like I said, though, this one wasn't because I don't think people bought this one. All right, and also this rubber is kind of hard now, so it's scary. What's going to happen to all of our rubber tired collectibles? All right, I'll save those wheels for later. Uh, let me get some other wheels. Alright, I picked up some wheels already. They're from uh, Tarmac Works. And I think they might be rotiform wheels. I can't really tell, but I have two kinds, so I'm going to show you in case you want to do this yourself. Again, uh, they're Tarmac Works, I just don't know what name these are. So that actually looks cool. You know, it's a nice wheel for sure, but I think I like the contrast of the gold. So I'm going to slap these gold ones in here. But uh, it's actually a little bit too wide because if you look at this thing, they have this giant thing here. So I'm simply going to snip that off. That. That. Now another thing, the rear tire, or the rear wheel, uh, is a much taller wheel as you can see from the front. And it has this very faint rib in the middle. And I'm using Chorakue tires for the rears, but that rib wants to suck the tire to the middle, as it should. That's the purpose of the rib. So I use my single-sided nippers. These are Rui, Rui tools, and I want this to be the outside, so I want basically the single-sided nipper blade to be on the bottom of the wheel, cutting this way, because it's this edge that's sucking the tire in towards the middle, right? But if I just do a little bit, it's not even much of a rib, you know, in the wheel, but this really helps out as far as the uh, tire not being uh, in the middle of the wheel when the Cherokee tire is much narrower than the wheel itself, you know, it'd usually be like that. But anyways, with this done, see, now the, the wheel generally stays flush with the tire. A little extra plastic there. So you get the idea there. Also, maybe a little too much plastic here. Too much plastic here. Okay, so now I got some poster putty here. Yeah, look how gappy that bottom is, but I guess it doesn't matter. I just pop that putty in there. Maybe a smaller amount up front. And you can make the, you know, wheels have camber or steer. Okay, a little bit of steering. Let's do the big blob in back. This is a Uhu Potafix Pro, by the way. It's the only gray one I know of as far as poster putties go. If anyone knows of a black poster putty, please tell me, because I'd rather have it built black, you know? A lot of these poster putties, for some reason, are like sky blue or white, but obviously you're gonna see that very easily on the bottom of a car. See, granted, you're never gonna see it from the top, but if the back was really raised up, you would see sky blue there, you know? So that's why I prefer a dark dark putty all right and then I don't think the putty really interacts with anything it doesn't seem to strip paint it doesn't ever harden so it's really great stuff for hobbyists I mentioned that all the time so look at that that's I think that looks awesome granted I don't have the printing on the back tire but uh, it's gonna have to do I think these wheels are clearly better well, I don't know. Those are nice wheels I had before because they're photo edge, but again, the tires just look weird. So now I gotta figure out how to mount this onto something else, so let me figure that out. Okay, so I ended up using an old M2 Machines uh, box. I, what I did is I put some sandpaper on it, and then I just spray painted the whole thing black. It does still have the recess here for the M2 Machines uh, name, but uh, if I pose it this way, it's not an issue. And I just used the uh, poster putty to mount these. I didn't screw them down because that poster putty is meant to hold kilograms on a wall, right? So these are just hitting horizontal. So that works out. And then uh, I showed photos when I reviewed this one. That's, I believe, this car they're going for. 
but I don't think I showed photos of this uh, body kit when I reviewed this one here. So I think this is it. It's got like the in ram intake and two tail lights like that. And then this is a Star Road body kit and it does match the shaping of this front and rear. So you can uh, pause the video obviously and take a close look. Let me get this lower. See? That one little exhaust and yeah. It matches up, it's all good. So someone there, whoever runs this VIP scale whatever, <laughs> whatever company this was, VIP scale models, they must really love the Fairlady Z. And maybe they own Fairlady Zs and started up a model company. I mean, to make, to make three different castings of modified Zs is a lot of dedication. So I want to thank them for that. I just really wish that they actually put them into normal display boxes. But uh, obviously you can work around it. And if you're not bothered by the crushed tires, just leave it the way it is. I added license plates to these, of course. Alright, well thank you for watching today. We'll see you in the next uh, cartoon car video. Bye.